Alrighty, so this is going to be a messages you need to hear forecast. Thank you so much for joining me on my YouTube channel. We're going to go ahead and hop straight into it. We're going to pull some cards and kind of see what energy comes up and whatever messages resonate with you are going to be kind of helpful for the month of January. So we're going to get straight into it. Keep in mind, this is going to be general, so you are going to have to use discernment. If you do want a personal session with me, all that information will be below. But let's go ahead and start getting into the energy. What's going on with my Sagittarius and what messages do they need to hear urgently for the month of January 2020? Messages they need to hear. Let's see what comes up. <laughs> All right, and drop a butterfly if you guys are a part of the mystical gang. Okay, so the first card we have out, we have the hope card. So, and keep in mind, I haven't used this deck in a minute, so I'm getting back into the energy. But with the hope card, I'm getting a sense for a lot of you, if there has been moments where you've been feeling kind of discouraged, um, this is like giving up on yourself and just feeling as if like, no matter what you do, things are not shifting. The universe is saying stop putting energy into things that are stressing you out to a point of no return. This could be putting your faith too much into, excuse me, this is putting your faith too much into people who don't really deserve it. This is like expecting more out of people than what they can actually offer. Um, this could also be taking off your blindfold as well within a situation, especially with this person being blindfolded. This could be taking your blindfold off in regards to how you're looking at things, you may be looking at things from a very uh, twisted perspective, or you just may not be seeing the full situation for its entirety. And that may be keeping you from getting the clarity, clarity you need to move forward or to figure out exactly what the next step is for you just in general. Um, if this is in regards to career, this is you guys also looking at exactly what tactics you're doing uh, within your career that may be keeping you stagnant if you feel as if you're not progressing or there's more that you want for yourself. OK, so interesting starting off with that. <laughs> now, let's see what else we have. OK, so we have two cards that fell out. We have surprise and we also have faithfulness. So let's start with this one. This card for a lot of you, message a message you really need to hear is if you've been waiting for some money to come in, I do see money actually flowing in. Now, this opportunity may be kind of random. And for some of you, it may be like one of those situations where you have to hop on the opportunity before um, somebody else gets it. So if there is any sort of like job application or a certain job that you want to get or catches your eye make sure that you're putting in the necessary like paperwork or application or you know going to the interviews or even just making sure that you're following up so that you don't miss out on this great opportunity for some of you this may be in a more um, entrepreneurial type of sense this could be you guys making sure that you're not missing out on an opportunity that could be very fruitful for you financially if you were to take the time uh, to invest yourself into it a lot more okay now i also have this card so this is also for some of you if you have some pets or something like that you really want to make sure that you're keeping up with them as far as their health is concerned that they're staying hydrated um, for some of you, if you have like dogs in per se, you want to make sure that you're getting them like shots or you're, you're keeping them, you, again, you're keeping them up to date with their health, especially if they're new animals. For others of you, it could be just other types of animals, but I'm really getting this for people who have dogs. Now, if you have like a backyard or something like that, make sure your dog doesn't like eat something in the backyard that could really make it sick. That's for somebody out there that's super specific, but somebody out there needed to hear that because that could happen. Um, for some of you as well, make sure that you're supervising your animals as well. If you don't want anything weird to happen to them as far as them like running away or um, just getting into something that they're not supposed to, you want to watch your animals, especially if you're not really in an area where you can, you know, uh, give them the free space to roam and not worry about them getting into something. Now, let's let's pull some more cards because this is getting interesting. All right, let's see. 
Okay, so we have this card. So for a lot of you, this is also talking about your love life. So for some of my single Sagittarius out there, if you have been single for some time, I do see that there is going to be somebody who's going to be catching your eye or you will be catching somebody else's eye. Now, what I will say is make sure that you're not just falling head over heels to where you're ignoring certain signs about this person. For others of you, you could be already in a relationship. You guys could be in the stage in your relationship where you guys are so comfortable with each other that you just let it all hang out. Make sure that you're not getting so comfortable that you're neglecting to uh, really court your person. Because sometimes what happens is when you get into long term relationships, you guys get so comfortable with each other that you kind of forget that you guys still have to keep the relationship spicy. All right. Um, others of you, if you haven't really put yourself out into the dating scene, make sure you're not just letting yourself go. <laughs> For some of you, you just let yourself go as far as like just not caring how you look. All right, let's be real. Um, this is just like letting go of even caring about that whole entire thing. And this, this may be not helping your self-esteem. So make sure that you are staying on top of yourself, uh, especially if that is something that is bothering you subconsciously. All right, so we have the priest. So for a lot of you, you could be being a lot more interested in your spiritual beliefs this month. This is also going to be you guys kind of taking some time to gain knowledge as well. This is beyond like spiritual beliefs. This is you guys gaining knowledge on some things that you're trying to work on. This is like if you're trying to become a musician, this is like gaining more information on how to actually do that or how to take your your music further if this is you wanting to start a business this is you gaining information for some of you you could even be going to school for some sort of business practice that you want to start in but you may need a license or something of that nature to actually practice within it okay a lot of you what i will say if you do have moments where your te your, your faith is being tested you want to make sure that you are, you know, reading the Bible or you're staying on top of your your spiritual beliefs, because at times the universe is going to test you. It's just are you going to flunk out or are you going to pass? Basically, that's what um, I'm seeing with this. Now, let's pull some cards from here. Sagittarius for January 2020. What messages do they need to hear? Ooh, okay. So we have the door to value that just flew out. So for a lot of you, finances is going to be another big thing for you. You're really going to be focused on how you can open more doors for yourself as far as receiving more abundance. For a lot of you, there could even be an opportunity, like I said, that's going to come out of the blue. That's going to be something very profitable for you. All right. For a lot of you, it's just going to like kind of flow in for you if you are allowing that's what i will say don't be forceful with the universe when it comes to things that you want because things do not just happen when you want them to you have to sit back you have to allow things to unfold so this is actually really really good especially with this card just flying out this is letting me know a lot of you are going to be handling your financial responsibilities trying to stay on top of that this is also you guys having a bigger picture on how you can save your finances if they come in um, by the boatload this month as well. OK, we do have. ooh, OK, door to door to healing or door to personal healing and happiness. Excuse me. So this is also a really, really good card. You guys are getting some interesting cards today. This is all about you guys following your journey, your personal journey towards healing through any sort of traumatic experiences that you may have had. This is like losing friends, um, losing relationships that you really want it to be a lot more fruitful. Or this is just like going through certain instances within your life that may have, in, in, I almost said infected, affected your sense of thinking or your thinking patterns or your behavior, behavioral patterns all right i'm getting tongue-tied today but this is you guys also taking in consideration of what you personally need to heal and what you personally need to be happy more than anything and a lot of you you could even be going into a journey of self-discovery when it comes to figuring out okay what is the next step for me so that i can actually manifest the things that i deserve especially if you have been feeling stuck like i said um a lot of you this is also going to be 
again, a lot of doors opening up for you. I don't think you guys understand that there's a lot of doors that's going to be opening up for you. If you are willing to walk through them, you guys are going to be blessed. All right. We do have the thinking man. So yeah, for a lot of you, you will come to a point in this month where you are going to have to really process some decisions that you want to make. Uh, what I will say is you want to make sure that you are meditating with clear quartz. Clear quartz is an awesome crystal. It's, it's good for clearing of the mind. So if you are needing to kind of block out any sort of confusion or even clear some blockages you may have uh, mentally, meditation is your best friend. And also keeping some clear courts around you is going to be important as well. Okay. Let's pull one more. Okay. So we have the thinking man. So we have the thinking woman and we have the thinking man. So for a lot of you, you could be in a relationship where you and your partner may be contemplating the state of the relationship, where it's headed, why you guys haven't been further, um, in life. Cause for some of you, you guys both feel as if the relationship or just you guys both as individuals could be a lot further in life. And this is just like processing. How exactly can we get there? Others of you, this is like thinking of just the, the status of the relationship. Where is it headed? Um, what exactly is needing to improve, especially if there has been difficult points? Um, yeah. And how you guys can attract more blessings for your relationship overall. But for a lot of you, what I will say is don't overthink about this situation. It's just going to cause a whole bunch of confusion furthermore what I will say is like I said take some time to meditate on some decisions meditate on this situation as well especially if you feel like you're mentally going a little cuckoo because this card's right at the bottom of the deck so um yeah a lot of you you really do need to just allow things to kind of flow to you this month that is the main thing I'm getting from these messages now let's pull some regular tarot cards and then we're gonna finish off because i want to see what else they have to say what messages what messages do my sages need to hear for january 2020 so we do have that seven of wands in reverse that just flew out i'm gonna stop right here so we do have the seven of wands in reverse that flew out so this is all about Losing kind of that determination to overcome any sort of obstacles that come in. Like upright, this would be fighting against any sort of tides that are trying to fight against you. This is also um, standing up for yourself as well. And then with the seven of wands in reverse, this is like not standing up for yourself and not really fighting for what you you know was right. So for a lot of you, this is knowing what battles are yours to fight. Uh, this could also be you guys making sure that you're not giving up on yourself as well. Like I said, if you want to end any sort of issue where there's like this back and forth, unstable uh, energy within your finances, your love life, even in your personal relationships beyond love, this is you guys, again, realizing what battles are worth fighting and then also this is not really putting up with situations that are putting you in this back and forth energy of unstableness. Okay. We do have the three of wands in reverse here as well. So this is you guys also needing to be more optimistic in regards to the future. Uh, this could be also looking forward to what's to come in the future. And a lot of you also doing some proper planning as well, as far as like, okay, what is next for me? You guys may need to write down some sort of goals for yourself. Uh, this could even be Mm, yeah, this is writing down some of your goals, things that you want to see yourself do in the next three months, three years. Like it, it can get super specific if you'd like. Okay. But yeah, if you guys want to turn any sort of financial situation around, it's going to be all about you guys planning your future for yourself. Okay. All right. I'm going to stop right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you. If you did enjoy this video, please make sure that you do thumbs up, comment below and subscribe. Um, and if you do want a personal session, again, all that information will be listed below in the description box as well as the comment section. And I will see each and every one of you in the next one.